Hey guys, it's Mr. Cram. Teachers said, third graders, that uh, perhaps a little review on area and perimeter would not be a bad thing. So this is what I've got for you this week. Check it out. The ultimate school, all right? This is coming home with some graph paper. It's very simple. You're gonna build the ultimate school. I've given you the rooms, and I've given you the side times the side, all right? Length and the width. So if you plotted out the haunted dungeon, you're going to get 5 times 6, which will give you an area, of course, of 30 squares. All right, here's my haunted dungeon. I'll put it right in the middle to get started, make sure I had room for all the other rooms. Now, I've given you some ideas for rooms, but I've also left some blanks for you to put your own rooms, because obviously, you know, you're pretty creative people. You can come up with better ideas than I can. But in short, at the end, you're going to have something that looks like this. This is the ultimate school, and in building this, we're going to get to practice area over and over again because repetition, it helps. You're going to plot this thing out. And last step, you have to build a perimeter fence all the way around your school. Keep the teachers out because they're the worst, all right? Now, once you build your fence, I did mine in yellow. It kind of stands out here, okay? One square wide, just all the way around, and then you're just basically going to count the number of squares you needed for that perimeter fence. And that's it. I'm gonna write that right at the bottom. So, I want you guys to build the ultimate school. We're gonna practice area, we're gonna practice perimeter, and really, it's a pretty fun activity, but it's gonna help us with what we need to know. So, if you do this, I'd love to see it, so bring it in, and I will look forward to seeing you guys next week.